Our time at Burberry has been a great learning experience for the both of us. Every day after our Marwin workshops, we take the bus to start our jobs. The Burberry on Michigan Avenue is the largest Burberry in America and the third largest in the world. The brand is most famously known for using the check pattern in their products. The associates uphold the idea of protect the check. This means that two different styles of checks cannot be displayed next to each other. They have three main lines, Porsum, London, and Brit, and a children's section as well. The Porsum line has exclusives and runway pieces, and every season the lines trends pass down to the London and Brit lines. The brand was founded in 1856 by Thomas Burberry. The name used to be called Burberry's with an S because his sons were involved in the business. However, over time, the S got dropped and the brand became known as Burberry again. The store became known for their outerwear, which were usually made from a fabric called gabardine. Gabardine is water repellent and lightweight, and it was patented. Therefore, gabardine trenches and coats are exclusive to Burberry. Not only is Burberry known for their patented gabardine fabric, but they also have many fine details and quality fabrics that make the brand unique and luxurious. For example, beautiful animal furs are incorporated into clothing such as mink, fox, and calf skin, which was the trend for the fall season. Their products are from all over the world, including Italy and London. There are many details that are handmade and all their buttons have their, have their brand name engraved in them. We have learned all of this information from our time at Burberry. Our four weeks here were exciting and enriching. In our first week, we learned a lot about the history and background of Burberry. We realized how much work and time was put into preparing the looks, clothing, shows, and visual displays in the store. Our interactions with the employees were very friendly, and the elevator rides were fun. We learned about their lives, their jokes, and their jobs. During our second week, we ran errands, organizing things in the shipping room, and even going on a hunt to find accessories for an associate's private client. It was daunting and new to us, but they trusted us, and in return, we worked hard. We worked on the visual display for children, which included styling mannequins and folding clothes. For our final weeks, we learned how to censor products in the store. We also spent two days creating our own outfits for men, women, and children. We created these outfits by combining pieces from all of Burberry's three lines. The visual display managers at Burberry are Ray and Paige. We had the honor of working with them to help set up displays in the store. We were taught that the most important aspects of visual display are presentation, color story, symmetry, and coordination to theme. For example, this fall season's theme was Trench Kisses. This theme is about love, and some featured products included the crush bag and the heart printed clothing. Not only is the theme reflected in the clothes, but it is also expressed in the visual displays. All throughout the stores, the mannequins can be seen holding hands and posing together intimately. Visual displays also change frequently. Paige mentioned how things would get shifted every week and major circulation of clothing would happen every month. It is busy work, but beautiful displays can successively pull customers in to buy products. Overall, our goal is to experience the professional world and learn about new things we're met. We want to thank Burberry and all of their great associates for making our learning experience amazing. We would also like to give a special thanks to Mandy and Scott for being awesome supervisors and for giving us great guidance. I appreciate all of your time, effort, and kindness that you guys chose to invest in us. Thanks so much.